Rome is a city with a rich and storied history, and it's a must-visit destination for anyone interested in art, culture, and history. In this video, we'll be sharing some tips and recommendations for making the most of your trip to the Eternal City. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss the wonders of Rome, the Eternal City. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. First, let's talk about some of the top attractions in Rome. Of course, no trip to Rome would be complete without a visit to the Colosseum. The Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheatre, is an iconic structure and one of the most famous, and well-preserved, ancient Roman structures in the world. It is a large amphitheatre that was built during the reign of the Roman emperors Vespasian and Titus in the 1st century AD. It is made of concrete and stone, and was used for a variety of entertainment purposes, including gladiator contests, animal hunts, and public spectacles. The Colosseum is an impressive structure, with a seating capacity of around 50,000 spectators. It is oval in shape, and consists of four levels of arches and seats, with a large central arena. The Colosseum was designed to be a state-of-the-art facility, with underground tunnels and rooms, used to house animals and prepare for shows. It also had a complex system of drainage and water supply, as well as retractable awnings to protect spectators from the sun. Today, the Colosseum is a major tourist attraction in Rome, and is considered one of the city's most iconic landmarks. It is open to the public, and offers guided tours, allowing visitors to explore the structure and learn more about its history. The Colosseum is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized as a symbol of the greatness of ancient Rome, and a testament to the ingenuity of Roman engineering and design. Other must-see attractions in Rome include the Pantheon, a well-preserved ancient Roman temple, the Trevi Fountain, a stunning Baroque-style fountain that is a popular spot for tourists and locals alike, and the Spanish Steps, a beautiful staircase that leads up to the Church of Trinita dei Monti. The Pantheon is a well-preserved structure that was built during the reign of the Roman Emperor Hadrian in the 2nd century AD. It is an architectural masterpiece, with a circular shape and a large, open central area topped by a dome. The dome is one of the Pantheon's most distinctive features, with a diameter of nearly 43 meters and a height of almost 43 meters. The Pantheon was originally dedicated to the gods of ancient Rome, and it served as a place of worship for the Roman people. It was also used for important ceremonies and public events. The Pantheon is an excellent example of Roman engineering and design, with a concrete structure that has stood the test of time. Today, the Pantheon is a popular tourist attraction in Rome, and is considered one of the city's most iconic landmarks. It is open to the public, and is free to visit. The Pantheon is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its cultural and historical significance. Inside the Pantheon, visitors can see the monument's impressive interior, with its high dome and elaborate decorations. The Pantheon is also home to the tombs of several important figures, including the artist Raphael and two Italian kings. In addition to its famous landmarks, Rome is also home to numerous museums and galleries that are worth visiting. The Vatican Museums, located within the walls of the Vatican City, are home to some of the most famous artworks in the world, including the Sistine Chapel. The Galleria Borghese is another must-see museum, with an impressive collection of Renaissance and Baroque art. The Vatican Museums are home to an extensive collection of art and artifacts, including some of the most famous artworks in the world. They were founded in the early 16th century by Pope Julius II, who wanted to open the Vatican's art collection to the public. Today, the museums are one of the most visited tourist attractions in Rome, with millions of visitors each year. The Vatican Museums are home to an extensive collection of art, including paintings, sculptures, tapestries, and other objects. Some of the most famous artworks in the collection include Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling frescoes, Raphael's paintings in the Raphael rooms, and the Borgia apartment frescoes. In addition to its art collection, the Vatican Museums also house a number of other important artifacts, including ancient Greek and Roman sculptures, Egyptian antiquities, and Etruscan and Roman artifacts. The museums also have a collection of medieval and Renaissance objects, including manuscripts, coins, and other objects. 
The Vatican museums are open to the public and offer guided tours in a variety of languages. They are a must-see destination for anyone interested in art, history, or culture, and a visit to the museums is a unique opportunity to see some of the world's most famous artworks up close. The Galleria Borghese is another art museum in Rome. It is housed in the Villa Borghese, a beautiful 17th-century palace that was once the home of the Borghese family, one of the most influential families in Rome. The Galleria Borghese is home to an impressive collection of art, including paintings, sculptures, and other objects. It is known for its collection of Renaissance and Baroque art, including works by artists such as Caravaggio, Benini, and Raphael. It was founded in the early 17th century by Cardinal Scipione Borghese, a patron of the arts, who wanted to create a museum to showcase the family's extensive art collection. Today, the museum is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Rome, and it is known for its beautiful setting and the high quality of its art collection. Some of the highlights of the Galleria Borghese include Benini's sculpture, Apollo and Daphne, Caravaggio's painting, David with the head of Goliath, and Raphael's deposition, among many others. The museum also has a collection of ancient Roman and Greek sculptures, as well as an extensive collection of paintings and sculptures from the 19th and 20th centuries. The Galleria Borghese is open to the public and offers guided tours in a variety of languages. It is another must-see destination for anyone interested in art or history, and, again, a visit to the museum is a unique opportunity to see some of the world's most famous artworks up close. When it comes to dining in Rome, there are plenty of options to choose from. From the city's famous pizza and pasta dishes to its delicious gelato, Rome is a paradise for foodies. Be sure to try some local specialties like carbonara, cacio e pepe, and suppli, and don't forget to wash it all down with a glass of Italian wine. Rome is known for its rich and diverse culinary scene, and there are many restaurants that offer delicious Italian cuisine. Here are a few examples of typical restaurants in Rome. Number 1. Trattoria. Trattorias are traditional Italian restaurants that are known for their casual atmosphere and home-cooked food. You can find trattorias all over Rome, and they often serve dishes like pasta, pizza, and grilled meats. Number 2. Pizzeria. Pizzerias are restaurants that specialize in pizza, and Rome has no shortage of them. You can find pizzerias that serve traditional Roman-style pizza, as well as more modern variations. Number 3. Osteria. Osterias are casual restaurants that serve traditional Italian dishes and often have a rustic atmosphere. You can find osterias all over Rome, and they are a great place to try dishes like pasta, risotto, and grilled meats. Number 4. Ristorante. Ristorantes are more formal restaurants that often serve traditional Italian cuisine. You can find ristorantes in all parts of Rome, and they are a great option for a special occasion or a romantic dinner. No matter what type of restaurant you choose, you can expect to find delicious Italian food and friendly service in Rome. Don't be afraid to try new dishes, Rome is a great place to step out of your comfort zone and try new flavors. Overall, Rome is a city that has something for everyone, and you'll find plenty of ways to experience the city's rich culture and heritage. So if you're planning a trip to Rome, we hope these tips will help you make the most of your visit to the Eternal City. So there you have it, just a few of the many reasons why you should visit Rome. Whether you're interested in art, history, culture, or cuisine, Rome has something for everyone. From its iconic landmarks and stunning architecture to its delicious food and vibrant culture, Rome is a city that is truly one of a kind. But don't just take our word for it, come see for yourself. Whether you're planning a solo trip, a romantic getaway, or a family vacation, Rome is the perfect destination. So start planning your trip to the Eternal City today, and get ready to experience all that this amazing city has to offer. So guys that's all for today's video. Which one of these wonders of Rome do you prefer? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends. Like, and hit the notification bell icon, to never miss out any of our latest updates. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you in Rome soon.